Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and this is a subscriber request. Today's video is not so much a request per se, it's more of a solution to a problem that a client presented to me recently. We're talking about overstuffed lyrics windows. The issue occurs when you clear out an old file to use as a template for a new piece. If there are lyrics in the old file, many people don't realize that just clearing all the music and lyrics from the score doesn't actually remove the lyrics from the lyrics window. If you do this multiple times over many, many years, your lyrics window can become overrun with ghost lyrics from songs that you wrote years and years ago. Eventually, this will slow down the performance of the lyrics tool and generally create buggy behavior in your files. Some of you have seen this. I myself have seen this many, many times. However, the file that this particular client sent to me was one of the worst that I've ever seen. So I'm going to show you a neat little hack that I learned recently from a power user, which will totally clean up your lyrics window without resorting to completely retyping your lyrics. Before I get into that, I just want to show you how you can submit a request for a video. First of all, you must be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button on YouTube and or sign up for the mailing list by clicking this link on the website. Then just send me an email with your request. Lastly, if your request makes it to video, please do your best to donate to the cause whatever you can. It would be most appreciated. More details can be found following the link in the description below or directly on the subscriber request page of my website. Now, let me show you this really neat trick. So for maybe obvious reasons, I'm keeping the client uh, anonymous as well as his file. This is obviously not his file. Uh, but just some background on this. The client's file was 900 plus measures or so, uh, 25 or 30 staffs, 11 or 12 of which were vocal staffs. This was a, the second act of an opera that he sent me. And, um, you know, all those vocal staffs had lyrics. And then he had also been typing lyrics in some of the other instrumental parts. He would do that just as a sketch. Anyway, there was lyrics all over this file, 900 plus measures. In addition, he had been using this file as a template from previous acts and previous operas. So this second act um, had been uh, duplicated from the template of the first act, which had been a template of the previous opera and the previous opera. And I think this went back three or four different operas over, you know, 10, 12 years or something like that. So as if you can imagine, you know, three or four full operas worth of libretto just hanging out in that lyrics window, and it was ridiculous. Obviously, he didn't know uh, that when you clear lyrics from the score, it doesn't clear it in the lyrics window. Now, I, I talked about this a little bit in, in video 16-1, the whole reason why the, the lyrics remain in the lyrics window uh, when you clear the lyrics from the score. If you want to go check that out, you can. It's 16-1. Uh, uh, um, but the immediate problem that he presented to me was that he couldn't copy and paste music with lyrics anymore. He would copy and paste some measures into a vocal staff and all the lyrics would just, you'd get like one syllable, like why, 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 etc. Um, so it wasn't working. It was buggy. Uh, the file was behaving slowly. The lyrics window, the lyrics tool was very slow, etc., etc. It was a big problem. Um, I'm going to show you a, a neat little trick that I learned from a, uh, a fellow power user because I was sort of struggling to help him out. Um, I was about to recommend just retyping everything, but uh, this, uh, this other power user uh, gave me this tip that he had learned a while back. And apparently this hack has been around for a while. It's just I didn't know about it until recently, and now you will as well. Now, obviously, this is not his file. This is my file. I kind of replicated the situation. Obviously, this is not 900 plus measures and it's not 35 staffs or whatever. Um, but I'm using verse 1, 2. I'm using chorus 1, 2. I'm using section 1, 2 in, in some of the funny stuff I've done down here in the, the bottom two systems. And just to replicate the problem, what I did in the lyrics win window, I'll go into the lyrics tool, and you'll actually see, you'll see even in this file, I'm getting the, the beach ball before the lyrics window comes up. Um, essentially what I did was I just copied and pasted the book of Genesis into the lyrics window a couple dozen times um, and then, you know, typed the actual lyrics of the song somewhere in the middle of this and then, you know, copied and pasted another couple dozen times the book of Genesis. So this lyrics window is just, it goes on and on and on. And what's interesting is that, you know, if you scroll down to the bottom, um, let's see, the last word right here is showing kind. And if I actually open it up a little bit more, the last word now is day. So it's weird that it's not even um, showing you all the lyrics that are actually here. In fact, I could open this as wide as I can and it will never show me the end of the lyrics. This was exactly what was going on with his file as well. And even though I wasn't seeing all the lyrics, you can select all out of here 
and copy and paste all of the lyrics, which is how I ended up with 35 pages of uh, text like that. But anyway, so this lyrics window clearly is overstuffed, and I've got lyrics in verse 1, uh, verse 2. Again, you see how slow it's behaving. Um, I also have it in chorus 2. There we go. Chorus 1. And uh, section 1 and section 2 as well. Again, just so slow. There we go. But let's go back to verse 1. <laughs> it's just so slow. This, this, is, this is exactly the behavior that he was getting. Um, so this is the hack, um, and this is how you do that. First of all, I would highly recommend making a duplicate of your file. Don't do this on your original file. Make sure you have a copy, because when you do stuff like this, it's always dangerous, and you just never know. Make a duplicate before you do this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to turn on the filter. So go to Edit, Edit Filter, and I'm going to choose None, and I'm going to filter for Lyrics, okay? And your Use Filter will be checked. And then I'm going to just select All. And if you have other staffs, like you know, instrumental staffs that don't have lyrics, you could just check. You could just select all of the vocal staffs. In this case, you know, all of the staffs here are vocal staff, so I'll just select all. And I'm going to copy. All right, Command C. Now I'm going to go back to the Edit menu, and I'm going to go to Clear Selected Items. And I'm going to choose, well, this is usually like that. I'm going to choose None, and then choose Lyrics, and click OK. So what I've done is I've cleared the lyrics out of the score. Um, which is actually, I found out an important step because it actually also clears the metadata, I think, of you know what lyrics are attached to what note and how that relates to the lyrics window. I don't know exactly how that works. It's not very opaque in Finale how that works, but I believe there's some sort of metadata connecting the entry with the, the lyrics syllables in the lyrics window. So anyway, I found that doing, making sure you clear the lyrics first before you go on to the next step is actually really helpful. Then go back to the Lyrics tool. Now, all the while, you have to remember, I've copied the lyrics into the clipboard. So the lyrics are still existing somewhere, right? And then what I need to do is actually go into every single one of these verses and sections and just select all. Again, it's, this is going to take a second because it's so slow. Press Delete, all right, so that this Lyrics window is now empty. I'm going to go over to verse 2. Select all. That's Command A. Again, just so slow. And delete. All right, so now let's go back to section one. Let's go back to verse one. Um, and already you can see that it's much easier to navigate between the verses and the sections in the lyrics window. So we've already kind of solved the problem of, of the, the lyrics tool slowing down, right? But now we have no lyrics, so this is the trick. You still have the filter on, you still have the lyrics in the, uh, in the clipboard, so you select all again and paste. And so all we're doing is pasting the lyrics back in, and nicely, you know, it all goes back into the same place. So verse 1 goes into verse 1, verse 2 goes into verse 2. Uh, these are choruses and sections that I've, I've done here. And if we go back into our lyrics window, you'll see that the only lyrics that exist now are the lyrics that are actually in the file. So here's my chorus 2 and chorus 1, section 1 and section 2, and obviously it's much easier to navigate. So this is a great little hack, and this this will you know solve the problem of an overstuffed lyrics window, but also there's other issues that can happen, like if you type things out of order, sometimes the, the lyrics in this lyrics window can become out of order, um, or not, not chronological in the score, uh, if you know what I mean. So just kind of doing this, even on a staff-by-staff -staff basis sometimes, you can just select a, a single staff and you know copy and, and delete the lyrics and, and then paste and everything. So um, that's always a, a possibility as well. But uh, this is it. That's, that's the hack. It's done. The lyrics window is cleaned up. You don't have 35 pages worth of text in your lyrics window anymore. Um, and you don't have to retype all of your lyrics, which is really the the uh, the main goal here. So, so yeah, so that's it. That's the hack. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have a request of your own, uh, please go ahead and email me, and uh, I'll take a look at it. And if it's worth doing a, a video for, I will definitely do it. So yeah, so there you go. So that is cleaning up your lyrics window. Once again, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon on the next video.